Hey guys, so we're looking to start mowing fifth cutting hay here this morning. Still cloudy, but we're hoping to get some sunlight today, definitely tomorrow. First, we're actually gonna mow the sorghum field. That field's gonna be a pretty heavy crop and we don't wanna be rolling it at all with our crimpers on the mower. So I'm gonna separate those first, then we'll go get started mowing. So I just need to tighten these bolts and that'll lift the, the top roll away from the bottom one. I went over the mower already yesterday, so it's good to go besides this adjustment. So I got the rollers apart. That's all the gap is. I was thinking I could get the gap a little bit bigger. We got the new rolls put on last winter. Guess we can't separate them quite as much as before. Hopefully it doesn't crimp it too much. If it does, we might have to use our other mower for that field. We do have that three-point mower we could stick on the other tractor if we wanted to do it that way. So there's the sorghum field across the road. I tried walking into that field yesterday and it was so thick that I really couldn't even step in there, at least not easily. wanted to see if it's getting crimped too hard or I want to make sure it's not knocking all the seeds off the plant. Dad and I were looking at this a little bit. We decided the rolls are kind of breaking up the grain heads a good bit. You can just see there's a lot of grain laying on the ground. I don't really know how much is too much but a lot of the heads seem like they're broken up pretty much. So we do have a second mower. It's only nine feet wide. It's the one that it's a three-point mower. It swings up so we're going to go hook that mower up to the 7130, mow this field with that mower, and then we'll do the alfalfa with this one. I'll go the rest of the way around this field since I got started. So early this year, we got rid of a bunch of pasture at this farm. So a lot of this field is from that. So I went around the field twice and opened it up. We're going to get the other mower on the other tractor now. So this mower doesn't have the rolls on it. It's just the cutter bar there. Gotta keep it low going out the door. Yeah, we hadn't really been using this mower too much, but it comes in handy sometimes. Yeah, we can see a pretty obvious difference right away just laying it over. So this mower should do the job. I'm gonna let dad work at it now. The guys who sold us the seed stopped in a little bit. They were looking at it and said, for sure we'd want to do it this way. It's gonna 
leave more grain on the plant. So I'm gonna go start mowing hay. We got 50 acres of hay to mow. So I'm working on my fourth field now. It's going good. My dad's still mowing that field. He's over there. So this is fifth cutting off alpha. We uh, we're gonna try to do it last week, but it was pretty cloudy, rainy all week. And this week is kind of looking the same so far, but it's supposed to get sunny tomorrow. Got all the hay mowed on Tuesday, it's now Thursday. We're finally getting some sunlight. So I just went over and raked a little bit of that sorghum. We just wanted to get a sample of that just to see how it's drying. We're gonna chop some up and test it. But I'm gonna rake up all the hay now. Then we'll come back to the sorghum later. Soybeans are going to be harvested in the next week. So this will be the last alfalfa field. They did not start chopping, but I think they'll be here any minute. We don't really have any space in the silos for it. We're gonna put it in an ag bag outside. I'm gonna start raking this sorghum field now. Before I raked the hay, I came through and raked two passes in this field just to see how it would go. This stuff is heavy. We did a moisture test on it, tested at 62% earlier. We're shooting for about 60%. This is the first time we've ever harvested this type of crop. It's gonna be interesting to see what the feed looks like then. This stuff does not rake as easily as hay does. It's just really heavy. And uh, depending which way I'm going, it doesn't pick it up too well. It leaves some skippers, so I have to go over a second time. They just started chopping over there. So I'm driving up the field, raking a new section, and I'm going back over the section I'd raked the last time. So doubling every single rota to make sure we get everything. This sorghum field's seven acres. I got it raked up. That was not a whole lot of fun just because of how rough the field was. I'm gonna head back to the farm and park this. We'll see how the ag bagging is going. Someone else wants to use that rake now, so dad's gonna take that back. Thirty was on the bagger, and could use a little bit more power. This one will do a little better. That one overheats a little too, so switching quick here between loads. There's a backstop on it and cables that keeps tension so it can pack it tight. Pretty solid. He had to stop there, it sensed that there was metal in the head. We found this. It's wavy like that because it ran through the disc bind. The, the rollers just crimped it.
to the other farm and get set up to uh, put the sorghum in that silo with the heifers. They already set the blower here. So we have 40 head of pregnant heifers at this farm. This is our first time growing the sorghum crop that's out in that field out there. Uh, the plan is to just feed that crop by itself. Should be kind of a balanced crop. We don't have to mix silage and haylage for them. So we're gonna put that in this silo right here. Clean this manure up, get these gates out of the way, quick. Dad's gonna scrape that manure up a little bit. So we don't got a whole lot more space at this spot. So we're gonna have to move the bagger soon. We're gonna stick the second one in this area. They're about two thirds of the way done now, so it's not gonna need to be even as long as that one is. He's reeling up the cables and we're gonna move that back stop and cut the plastic. Just noticed there's some heifers carrying on out here. Probably a few in heat, I'm just watching them a little bit. They're almost done, they got a few more loads to put in this bag and then we'll switch down to that silo. It's not gonna be too much work for us anymore. So this will be the first load of the sorghum coming in. I'd say the sorghum has a different smell to it. It doesn't smell as good as corn silage does. Hey guys, so I just wanted to wrap this video up to see our ag bags. We actually could have fit fifth cutting in that silo right there, but we had filled that silo about a handful with triticale in the spring and then put first cutting on top of it. And we're just now getting through that first cutting and gonna start feeding the triticale. We really didn't wanna put fifth on top of it and then we wouldn't be able to feed it for a few more months. So we decided just to make ag bags. Fifth cutting isn't quite as good a quality normally. So we really wanted to feed it to the heifers and not be forced to feed it to the cows quickly to get through it. We will be giving some to the cows, but not as much as we would have to if we put it in the silo. You can see it's fermenting, turned brown. It smells really good. Smell that. And then the sorghum we finished up, seven and a half acre field there. So the silo is about a third of the way full for the heifers at the other farm. We got that silo set up. I didn't film that because it was so dark in there. But yeah, we're done with forage harvest for the year. We have some soybeans to do. It's probably going to happen this week. Going to get some nice weather now, looks like. Yep, thanks for watching, guys.